Hello, Sirius Robotics here, and today we're going to look at the ABB IRC5 flex pendant, and we're going to look at the process of restoring the system from a backup. And this is a pretty easy process. The first thing we do is we tap the main menu button up top, and you may see different icons on this top left hand button depending on your version of software. And I look for an option called backup and restore. When we select backup and restore, it brings us to this screen here. And on this screen, we have two options, to create a backup of the current system or to restore the system from a backup. So today I want to restore the system from a backup. So I tap on Restore System, and it takes me to this screen right here. Now the path name that I see right here is the last place that I created a backup or you know created a backup folder in so if that's where I want to be then I can just go ahead and hit restore but if you need to check and make sure you're in the right location and in this case I actually want to change systems so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button here now the button right here will have three dotted lines or it'll have the letters ABC or it'll have the letters ABC with three dotted lines but no matter which variation of this button you have the result will be the same when you press it so when we press it, it takes us into our Flex Pendant Explorer. Think of the Flex Pendant Explorer sort of like the Windows Explorer. It gives you a way to navigate the system and view the different files and folders. So I'm going to use these buttons across the bottom here. The New Folder button here on the bottom left. Up One Level button takes you to your home screen. OK to accept whatever I had highlighted here or cancel the process. I'm going to navigate all the way up to my drives. And as you can see, uh, these are the drives on my computer here. And I'm going to go into my C drive. So here you're going to want to make sure you're in the right drive so that you can restore the proper backup. So I'm going to go into my C drive. And then you look for your backup folder. And here I have a folder called Luke1. My, my name is Luke. So inside this folder, I'll find my backups. So I found the backup I want. In this case, it's called Luke2. So I tap it and it opens it up. Very important, when you find your backup here, this is the one I wanted, loop number two here. Um, if I hit OK here, I'm going to get an error because you have to open up your backup folder or it will not restore from it. So if I hit OK, I'm going to get an error, but I have to tap inside of it. Now I see the four folders that the backup folder consists of. Your backup information, your home parameters, your rapid programming language, and your system parameters. Once I see these four inside of my folder with the path name here, then I click OK. It brings me back here and I can verify. There we go. That's the correct backup. So now I hit Restore. It'll say, are you sure you want to proceed? And I'm going to say yes, but basically this is just telling me if I haven't backed up the data that I have on here now, that it's going to overwrite everything and I'll lose any newly created data that I've created. But I hit yes, and now the system will shut down. On a controller, it connected to a robot, and then it's going to shut down, and it's going to reboot. It'll power back up, and as it powers up, it'll do the post. After the post completes, then the system will be up and be functional in the system that you restored from. So it's a pretty easy process. Let's check it out real quick again. Bring up the pendant again. And get out of automatic mode here. So I'm going to go main menu button, backup and restore, restore system, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to find my folder. I know it was in my C drive, it's in my folder, and there's my backup folder. I see the four folders that comprise it, I hit OK, restore, yes I want to proceed, process complete. Well, thanks a lot for watching. we got a lot more coming up. Uh, we're going to cover this entire flex pendant from one end to the other, including how to repair it. We're also going to look at the different packages we can install onto the ABB software here. And we're going to work with conveyors. We're going to work with weld guns. We're going to work with grippers, uh, screw guns, all types of different devices. So keep an eye on the channel. Subscribe, like, and share the videos. And uh, the, more, the more we grow, the more we'll be able to do here. So thanks a lot for watching. And for now, Sears Robotics, out.